Sioux Falls police say there's a big break in a case involving a number of stolen vehicles, including one where we show you surveillance video where the suspect was actually caught on camera. Kettle Vans' Don Jorgensen joins us with more on the suspect, the arrest, and charges he faces. Yeah, remember this surveillance video that we showed you back in early February? It's at the come and go on North Cliff Avenue where a man gets out of the van, jumps into the driver's seat of this Dodge Van pickup, Dodge Ram pickup, that is, and backs away at a high rate of speed across the parking lot and gets away. Now, police believe that that suspect was this man, 29 year old Sean Michael Long, a homeless man who was arrested yesterday. But police believe that he's responsible for several other car thefts in the city. When we showed you this surveillance video at the beginning of the month, we talked with the owner of the stolen truck. He said he had gone inside the convenience store for only a minute to buy a soda. When he came outside, someone was stealing his pickup. It's so brazen. I mean, it's in the middle of the day. This video played a key role in that case, but so did a receipt from this Taco John's on East 10th Street that was left inside the stolen truck but it was recovered a few days later. Police used surveillance pictures taken from that Taco John's drive through and identified Sean Long as the suspect. They had been looking for him ever since. Yesterday, they got their break when a detective spotted Long walking to the intersection of Bailey and Kiwanis Avenue. As the patrol officers went to stop him, he took off running, so there was a foot pursuit that happened. Eventually, the detective was able to corner him in the back of a yard, and there was a struggle. Uh, the other patrol officers got there, and, and they were able to get him under, uh, into custody and, and uh, arrested without any further incident. Police had issued three warrants for Long's arrest in connection with the come-and-go car theft, but others as well. Where the warrant was issued happened in February, but there was probably some in January that we believe he was responsible for as well. So there's likely at, uh, at some point in time there's going to be more charges that will come for him. Hopefully this will clear up a few stolen vehicles and, and uh, we know that he's going to be in jail, so he's not going to be stealing any more vehicles anytime soon. Now, Long faces several charges, including grand theft and resisting arrests. We did some digging, and court papers say that police arrested Long on January 28th with a stolen pickup. He got out of jail without having to pay any bond, and just days later, this latest string of crimes began. This time, his bond is set at $5,000 cash only.